Let's take the pressure of parenting. Let's take the pressure of being proper and right. I've watched parents badger themselves because they assume they are getting it all wrong. And then begins the struggle to be good, to be right and to be perfect. This is a downward slope. When the need to be right and to be good is so intense that it takes away the spontaneity that life itself throws at us, then it takes away the opportunities to play the fool. It takes away the opportunity to simply guffaw at that. It takes away the ability to make mistakes and just be okay with it. I will tell you, as a parent of two young boys, I make enough mistakes every day. Up until now, I judged myself as an inadequate mother. Every time things went out of hand, I felt I was not up to the job. Last weekend, my younger son howled for three hours straight. All of a sudden, his tooth and tooth hurt and due to the lockdown, it was, I was unable to find a dentist for a few hours. After two hours of hearing him bawling, I instantly called Mr. K and said, I'm a bad mother. I don't even know how to take care of my children's teeth. I think he needs to go for a root canal and this is all because of me. All of this with a nagging thought in my head that I should now stop working, focus my energies on my children. Mr. K is made up of something nice, all things nice. And that weekend he chose to support me. After a couple of frantic calls, we finally reached the dentist clinic where my brat decided to change the gear and went into an ecstatic mode. <laughs> he played with all the buttons on the dentist chair as if he had reached an astronaut's space shuttle. He cruised around his cabin looking for the spray and chatted all this while with the dentist uh, with the dentist fingers in his mouth. <laughs> After a few minutes, the dentist turns and asks me uh, what was the problem and uh, why we were here in the first place. You can't imagine how much courage it took me to gather up the guts to walk up to the chair. My thoughts flew from the worst that maybe, you know, the dentist is asking me to approach the chair because there's a bigger problem than I had imagined. I imagine that the gum must be damaged too. Uh, this may call for an instant extraction. Then I had decided in my head with it, my thoughts playing with me that it's better to do the root canal. It's better to do the, the extraction because the root canal would definitely be more painful. When I peeped into his mouth, everything was looking a normal. I thought the doctor said he's going to get a new tooth soon. So I asked him again, what did you say? He said he's just going to get a new tooth. That's all? <laughs> Not all that crying because he's going to get a new tooth? I was about to pull the shutter down on my career for a possibility of a new tooth in his mouth. Yes, you heard me right. The possibility. It wasn't even a surety. It was a judgment that probably a new tooth is going to sprout and that's causing him discomfort. Now, my younger son has a little low threshold for pain and that's quite clear right now. I looked away all embarrassed to turn my back to say, but I promise you he was crying frantically and that's why I called you so many times. The doctor smiled. Well, he wasn't going to say it to my face anyways, right? That uh, you are just another crazy mother. But if you really saw, that's how our mind works. Without even knowing the problem, I had jumped to the conclusion that the problem was me. My going to work, my not bathing the kids, not feeding them, not scrubbing their white teeth, sparkly white. <laughs> and my not being able to iron their every shortcoming. Just last night, I pounced on my friend when he simply said, I don't think I have ever seen you cook. The need to prove myself as just being just and right made me forget simple boundaries and I just snapped. 
this morning i realized why can't i just be both why do i have to choose between my career and my family choose between being right and wrong i can be both i don't need to be perfect because i'm not i need to forgive when i am wrong and move ahead when i'm right i need to sometimes be career oriented powerful woman that people fear and be a complete wreck of a mother on other days i need to be okay with that i need to simply be okay with that